We are doing the Grade 12 CAT or Computer Application Technology November 2019 paper. It's the practical paper, the paper one, and we are busy with the HTML question, which is question six. So just a reminder about how to open your files. I'm going to you right click on your particular file. I'm going to edit in Notepad++. So there we go. And then I'm going to open, you can then go run it in Chrome or whichever browser you want to do, which I've got already. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, drag this to the one side and then drag the other part to the other side. So this part there must go to that side there. So now I can make changes here and see the changes over there. So let's go look at what we must do. So we work in with the six underscore wonder web page uh, and it says, there we go. Question numbers appear as comments. So 6.1.1, set the background color to beige. So let's go to the body, the body, the background color. So we look in now, remember as well that you do have this right at the bottom. You've got this HTML and background color. You can see the BG color equals to a particular, that's what you change. So use this in your questions to guide you. You don't need to remember everything. Use it to guide you. So BG color, background color of the web page. So BG color, yeah. BG color equals beige. So we're going to save and then go look at the value. So there we go. Let's click on refresh. I don't know if you can see it, but it is a little bit of a beige color. So there we go. That one's done. Format the heading agra as follows. Change the font size to 50 and the font to century. So that's the font tag. So we're going to come here to, yeah, we're going to, oh, there's already a font tag. So we're going to change the font size to 50. It's going to be quite big and then we're going to change the face or the text to century and then we're going to save it and we're going to refresh it there we go it's font size 50 and that's century next 6.113 insert the six city.jpg picture found in the examination after the heading agra and set the height to 360 and okay so let's do that so there we go. After that, we must put in the image. So we're going to put in an image tag, first of all. So I'm going to put in, let's put one here. Let's go, after, let's do, yeah, an IMG tag. And it closes immediately. That's the first thing. And the source, SRC, is equal to the 6city.jpg. 6city.jpg. So make sure that you type it exactly like this. Include the extension. And then we want the heart to be 350. So the heart field must equal to 350. And the width must be 600. So the width field must equal to 600. And all of that is inside the image field. Ensure that the picture appears below the picture as shown in the previous. So that's what they say, below. So let's just double check it to see what it looks like. I'm going to save and let's go to view, refresh. It's below the picture. So there we go. It is below the picture. Just for interest, I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. Oh, see, when we make it bigger, it doesn't actually go below. So maybe we need to put a break over here to make sure that it's on a new page every single time. So let's try that. So if I make it bigger now, I didn't refresh it. If I refresh it, oh, there we go. There now it's always on that side. So that's much better. There we go. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Okay, so just remember the break. That was sneaky. If we didn't check that, we would have lost that mark. They set it for a reason, so we had to make sure we double check. 6.1.4, change the list at the end of the web page to display as shown in the example on the previous page. So we want the list to look like that. What does it look like now? Okay, so all the stuff's correct, except for we want it to be a numbered list instead of a bulleted list. So we're going to go to the list. There's the list. Okay, there is no indication that it is a ordered or numbered list. So we need to include the ordered list because we want it to be numbered to OL for an ordered list. And there we've got our list items. And then here is when we want to close our ordered list. And if we save it and refresh it, there we can see our numbers have been added. There we go. So we've added our ordered list tags to that question. Save it. And now we're going to move to the other one. So I'm going to go set up the other one so long. So make sure that we save it. Yeah, we have. And I'll set up the other one quickly. 
So yeah, I've set it up. So let's look at the question, open the page and complete the web page to look exactly like this. Okay, so there's quite a bit that we need to take note of. So first of all, this is what the page looks like. So first of all, foreign visitors by the Taj Mahal, that looks like a heading one tag. So I'm going to put a heading one tag on that text. So let's do that first. So let's put a H1 tag here. And we're going to close the H1 tag here. Let's save and see what changes are being done. So, so there's already our first change. It also looks like it might be italics. Does it look italics? I think it looks italics. So let's put italics around it. So we will open the italics tag there. And before we close the H1 tag, we will close the R tag for the italics. Let's save and look at that. See if we're making progress. It's looking better. So if we compare it to this, we get in there. Now we need to put this, all this text here into a table. And the first row is merged. And then, so there's three rows and there are three columns, except for the first one is only one. Okay, so first that's in the first row and then that that's the first row. And then there we go. Okay, so I've got an idea of what to do. So let's have a look. So let's move this over here so we can see. So first of all, we're going to have a table here. So let's table. And then this will be the end of the table. Do you see how I close it immediately? So I know that I don't forget it. Then I know that this is going to be the first row. So let's indent it a bit. And this will be the end of the first row. And then this will be the second row because here starts there and it goes into the percentage sign. So after the percentage sign, we will then close that second row. And then all of this will be on the next row. So this is the third row. And then the 14 would be the end of the third row. Okay, there we go. Then we want here arrival and percentage to be in separate blocks. So I'm going to look how I do this quickly. They are TD tags. So I'm just going to copy these TD tags and put them in front. And then at the end, we put the closed TD tags. And I'll copy that and put that at the end of each one. So this is the, the second row and those are all in a separate. I must do the same for this actually. I must put that in its own little blocky. So there we go, TD, it's only one block there and this is three separate blocks. So this is gonna be copy and paste. And then in front, we just do that. You notice how the tags go purple if we've done them correctly. And then oh, there they are closed. So this is my table. This is row one, row two, row three, row one has one block, row three has three blocks, row, row two has three blocks, row three has two blocks. Oh, wait, you see how that's highlighted as bold? That might be a TH tag. That's a heading tag where it bolds it and centers it automatically. So let's make that a TH tag. I think that looks better. So let's save and see what it looks like so far. So let's refresh. Okay, so first of all, we need to have borders. That's another thing. We're going to need to have some sort of borders on our table so that we can see the line. That's making progress. I like where we're going. So in our table, let's go give it a border of, let's say, three. I don't know if that's going to be correct, but let's try it. Okay, so we're making progress. Now, we want to merge that first. So we want that first block to span over multiple columns. It's going to span over three columns. So I'm going to, on that block, on that TH, we're going to say col span equals three. Span it over three columns. It's one block, but we want it over three blocks. There we go. Oh, it looks so close. I think it's, I think it's done. Huh? Is it done? I think it's done. There we go. Ooh, a lot of effort, but we broke it down to little bits and we got there. Ooh, and then this last little bit, is a link. Click for more information. I'm assuming they want us to go to that particular website. That's fine. We're going to come here to click for, we're going to put that in an A tag. All of that text will be in an A tag. And the link, I'm going to copy this code. The link would be href equals the link. But ah, remember, it must be http colon slash slash and then the website address for it to work. So let's save it and let's refresh it. 
There we go. It looks a lot better. If I move my mouse over it, you can see it wants to go to that website. I think that's done. Well done. I think we did everything. And if I, yep, that's the end of the HTML. So that's all the HTML for that question. For more videos on HTML, go to our YouTube channel, click on the playlist, and you'll see all the lists of possible HTML videos there, as well as other stuff on Word and Excel. Click on that subscribe button. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.